And finally, welcome to RimWorld's Whatever I Decide to Name This Series. I haven't come up with that yet. Now, Dr. Frankie is very resourceful. Again, not officially a doctor. Doesn't have a PhD. Good at construction, good at crafting, medical and intellectual. The only thing I've just noticed, uh, which is a terrible time to notice this when we've already started. Capable of firefighting. I fear no man, but that thing. It scares me. She's also very good at construction. Mainly constructing uh, bodies and amalgamation of flesh and machine. But for now... Okay, speaking of flesh, we've got the flesh style from Alpha Meme. So we're going to be building fleshy walls and fleshy doors. Oh, that is grotesque. Thank you. Oh, that's... <laughs> That's absolutely horrible. Um, there is a fleshy floor. Cheap imitation flesh. Smells weird. It's like the rubber flesh you get from the fancy dress shop. Even though we've just got one person armed with a bone saw. Legendary bone saw, though. Oh, my God. We're going to play very small. It's going to be nice and compact and careful and tidy. Bloody hell, that was fast. Okay. Uh, hello, volunteers. You say tribes be able attacking. She sees just free real estate, really. This is about to be a game over immediately. Good luck. Oh, Jesus, that's not... Oh, God, no, this is a terrible start. Please. Oh, Christ almighty. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say or do. We should have built some wooden traps. Why didn't you... Nice, the, the redemption up. Well, that's... This is very upsetting. Ah. <laughs> it was non-canon. She had a horrible nightmare, and now she's going to build some defenses to make up for it. Now, Experiment 8 is the Frankenstein Xenotype from Big and Small, with a few little additions here, so he doesn't immediately die on us while we slowly rebuild him. Oof, owie, my everything. Spine, jaw, stomach, both lungs, both kidneys. It's gonna take a lot of people to rebuild, okay? But Dr. Frankie, she's not a doctor necessarily more than she is an artist, a sculptor of flesh. Unfortunately for the people we're gonna be sculpting, uh, she's tremendously clumsy. Are you actually joking? Rebuffed by experiment eight. Bruh, it's a ma- it, 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 He doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, sorry, what do you think about Frankie? Botched my surgery, harvested organ, harmed me, butchered human-like. Oh, God. Oh, God, what the fuck is that? Oh, no. <laughs> These are disgusting. Look at that plant pot. She's very unhinged. I, I feel like a double bed. A double bed for her and her maybe one day husband, Experiment 8. Missing some wood. Don't don't even talk about that right now. I'm sure he's missing a lot of things. Yeah, there you go. Experiment 8 has collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. <laughs> it's art, okay? They just don't understand. No, oh, no. Oh, thank God. Oh, you just notified me that the monolith is there. Yes, no, I, I did notice that. Thank you. We've got seven melee. Okay, she's pretty adept at handling... Oh, God, surgical implements. Good Lord. That rat bite you right in the forehead. <laughs> what do you mean you get a horrible infection and die immediately? Well, look, that's just how sometimes it goes in RimWorld. You do, do you? Well, that's really interesting coming from uh, somebody who can't speak. Experiment 8 thinks we should give this settlement a name. My friends, I leave it in your very capable, fleshy... Mm, delicious hands. For now, we're just going to be called Flesh Shed. <laughs> An engraving on this furniture represents Mimo Lato. Who is Mimo Lato being incapacitated? Incapacitated. Incapacitated. Without emotion or expression, but. Huh? Ah, you just made up a person to scribble on a bed? Ah, oh, well done. You have dominated the rats. You've killed the biggest, strongest rat. And now you are the strongest rat. What the hell are we going to do with that? I'm going to Daniel Mary. It's a male rat. I don't care. No. No, I'm not ready. Listen, I need you to focus here. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, piss. No. History is repeating itself. No, 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 no. I, I, no, no, no. You're going for my wall? Yes. You shit, they're so clever. They're actually so intelligent. You missed again. Please. Please. Frankie. Frankie! Oh, yes. Good shot. Good shot. There we go. We're off to a great... Oh, she's off to a blinder. Amazing. She saved the day. Okay, we can't put that far out. Just don't worry about that. Come on. Frankie. Frankie. Frankie! I can't watch. Dude, I can't watch. This can't happen again. I refuse. Oh, Jesus. Oh, thank God. It's okay. We're good. It's all fine. <laughs> it's all fine. This is canon. Well, maybe. We'll see if the base burns down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Well, there go all of those defenses. Oh, for God's sake. I've made a tremendous mistake, haven't I, this time? Ah, home sweet, terrifying home. Welcome aboard, alligator. Nice to see you. Oh, my God, level 17 medical. Oh, it's all paying off. What a genius you are. Oh, no. 
Oh, Christ, no. Not like this. Ravenously hungry. Well, just eat a meal. You don't have to beat the prisoner, you weirdo. Make trauma savant head. Ingredients. One wood. No! Alligator has been crushed to death. Surgery fail <laughs> catastrophically. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Making the mother of all omelets here, okay? You can't fret over every egg. Look at this, you see? You lose one, you gain another. Easy come, easy go. Adonis Stout. We'll see how stout you are, my friend. A terrifying man, a worshipper of the Horax. Oh, well, that's nice. Everybody's got to have a hobby. There you go. Good as new. Let's put you back in the... You put you back in here for a second. Oh, look at that. They're the best friends already. Oh, for God's sake. Why are you all so weak and feeble? He's just there to be your friend. He's just there to be your friend, and you had to be selfish. Oh, I don't want a dead body in my prison cell. You'll get nothing unlike it. What is wrong with these people? Stout? Why are you so flimsy? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> this is a disaster. Oh, come on. Frankie! It's a hard life out here. Maybe she should have just stayed as a dentist. Hold on, hold on. What can we do with the rat? Let's have a look here. Put an induced coma. I don't want to do that. Perform experimental brain surgery. How will that help? What the hell is even that? Quest active. Investigation of a dilapidated installation. What are you, a post hardcore core band with a name like that? Hello? <laughs> Research lab. Not far from flesh shed. <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh, well, maybe she's just practicing surgery. Maybe she's, maybe she's not having a mental breakdown. It's early days, okay? It's very stressful. She's had people try to murder her twice. She lost her job. She hasn't got a lab equipment. And listen, you would do no better if you were marooned on a planet with eyeball trees. Listen, she's just very awkward around people, okay? This is what we've got to rely on. Maybe you hitting them over the head with a, with a lump of wood or ripping their teeth out. What the hell are you talking about? We just need a friend. We just need somebody to turn up who's good at talking to people. Gouge his eyes! <sighs> Maybe we borrow, borrow their parts? We have access to an autopsy table. Well, let's put one of those down. What am I doing here? Oh, we could have autopsied alligator. Are you rotten? I think, I think you're probably rotten by this point. Yeah. Butcher for organs. You see, it's all good. If we took his jaw and tongue, we could at least have a conversation with experiment eight. <gasps> No, the rat let the, the, the prisoner out. Level 8 in melee. Well, that's really good, given that you missed. Hey, the operating theater is ready. She's got this in the bag. You're fine. Oh, I'll be honest. I really thought taking the spine would kill them, but apparently they're all good. Install denture. That's not a bad idea. Couple of peg legs and a spine. And we can we can fix all that later. Don't worry. We, we've got to be very careful about our medicine usage here. Maybe two peg legs wasn't the best use of three glitter world medicine. But there we are. Need a liver to, to, to survive. But finally, Experiment 8 can feel the same love for her that she feels for him. Thank you, Stout. Oh, you're so kind. Should we wait for it to stop raining for it to not be midnight? Very skillful. And this is her hobby. She probably just, just, just doesn't want to wait. She's probably been bored here for months. Or at least a few days. What did you get from that? No, fucking nothing. What did you get from that? What are you saying? It's been like two minutes. This is still Rimworld. So we do still need some uh, rice and potatoes. Find healer. Hello. Okay, this seems terrifying. Why have you got wolf ears? What's going on there? You're a lycanthrope. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's not what I expected, but okay. A small withered woman stands in front of you. Where her eyes should be, there are only scar-crusted holes in her flesh. Yet even without eyes, she somehow looks at you with kindness. She says she knows that her skills are needed here and wants to stay a while. She offers to use her healing powers to help you. Oh, that could be something she's not telling you. Sure, welcome aboard. Hey, why not? What could go wrong? Unnatural healing. Use dark psychic influence to heal someone. Process will stop bleeding, restore blood loss, and can even heal significant injuries. Dr. Frankie horrified Anna by moaning erratically about shamblers. Did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've made a mistake. Can I undo this series? <laughs> Chatting with the insatiable blind werewolf about how you want to do terrible, unspeakable things to shamblers. I don't like this. Experiment 8, I've got a gift for you. Frankie said, please, uh, my friend, he really, really needs help. He's really, he's really injured. Someone really injured him. Unnatural healing. Experiment 8's left shoulder was restored. He's gone right off the fucking deep end. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Oh, no, it's hideous. Oh, no. Oh, you've got a human head, but wolf, wolf features. I mean, maybe we're doing something right. We've got a uh, avoid touched, unnatural, terrifying, Alzheimer's ridden lycanthrope with no eyes. And somehow you're not the scariest person in the colony. Why do you need tentacles on your bed, huh? What were you talking with that werewolf about? Have you ever seen tomorrow? It's blue, all blue, with hints of a color that's between Stygian blue and hyperbolic orange. You know, I get the weird feeling she might be a little bit crazy. I just don't know what it is. Oh, requesting laborers. 
What, would you want the blind werewolf or the mad doctor? You know what? Yeah, I'll trade, um, let's take the gold. Sure, shuttle arrived. They did not expect this, did they? They give them the old razzle dazzle. <laughs> the benefit of being totally nuts is whenever you do go on a sad wander, like for example, she did 30 seconds ago because she slept in the heat of all the things to be upset about, that's it. Whenever she does have a breakdown, she gets the crazed catharsis benefit. A flailing monkey wanted the truth. A river of a thousand paces wide would die for a grapefruit. This is going to be a tremendous aesthetic, the which has never been seen before. But now though, a flashy research lab. Actually, those flash tiles any good? Are they clean? Oh, they use regular wood to build. God damn you. God damn you. I hate this biome. Is it too late to leave? You can have a lovely meaty chair covered in tentacles, not gold. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. Just give me the batteries and then walk away. Never look at that again. <gasps> a pair of arms? A poor traveler named Evergreen is approaching. Evergreen wants the silver to pay off a debt to a gang of pirates who are hunting her. I'm sorry, I've got to focus on Experiment 8. You've seen how much she likes Experiment 8. Maybe a little bit too much because she's a little bit, little bit strange. That's what I think. It's an unwavering loyalty. Good news. Oh, well, that's nice. That saves me a decision. She just wants to help her friend. She's not going to swap this random person for Experiment 8. Oh, no, we're out of medicine already. Oh, for God's sake. Well, that didn't last very long, did it? Are you joking? What is this, karma? What are you doing to me? We've only just started. No! Oh! My bloody rat. Oh, well, we're never going to get there in time, are we? Oh, why is this world so cruel? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, no, that's fine. I don't mind that one so much. I'm sorry. I can't even say it. My flesh vessel is itchy. It burns. Plus 15 mood. What the fuck are you saying? Jesse, what's happening? <laughs> why is that a normal door? What's happened? Oh, my doors have gone back to normal. What the fuck? Oh, God. Okay, too much. Too much. It's too much now. Is it going to be like 120 mood? How does that work? Spiders in my face. Did you know you swallow at least two spiders every night? I enjoy it. They taste like cinnamon. Very strange person. You're really not okay, are you? Oh, hello. Welcome back. How are you doing? Thank you for helping Slive Arpins. Oh, that's a reward name right there. What the hell does a humanity break mean? I didn't even want to think about it. Anna has relinquished her remaining ties to humanity and embraced her ideology's worship of the void. Her concern for health, family, friendship, and love have been broken. What the hell does that do for us? Mind is dominated by the psychic patterns of the void. They are completely disconnected from human concerns. Their experience of reality is distant and muted, guided by a psychic rhythm of dark hyperintelligence. Oh, she seems fine. Good as new. Void pleasure. Sorry? The vibrations of reality pulse into me and soothe everything, do they now? Jesus, given some of the conversations, I'm uh, uh, really not surprised. Blind void werewolf chef. This isn't where I saw any of this going. What the fuck? Who is this? So man just walked up to the front door and died. What did you do? Hello? He died from acute appendicitis. <laughs> it's really rude. Just dug up at someone's house and dying. And seeing as we haven't got any medicine, it's such a waste just to let these bodies rot. If only there was something we could do with them. <laughs> That's right, my friends. Making its return for the first time in years. The Dead Can Serve mod. Retextured by yours truly. Because my god, this mod is hideous, and I can make it slightly less hideous. We're still not gonna finish the research in time. God damn it. Oh, another gift. Hello. A ranger named Boule. <laughs> Your enemy from terrified civilians. <laughs> Why did I give myself such a hard playthrough? Where the fuck did you put him? Oh, for God's sake. He died on the way back. For Please, I need a victory. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, no, what happened? Uh, she finished her psychic healing on experiment eight. However, uh, his left lung was restored. Something went terribly wrong. The arm split open as a violent growth emerged from his body. His arm has been replaced by a fleshy tentacle. Oh, Dr. Frankie's probably never been happier. Soon, my friend. Soon you'll be back with us. One day. Uh, this is too difficult. I've made this too difficult. I've made a terrible mistake. This is far too hard. I was kind of tempted to bin it all, but you know what? We're going to survive. We're not just gonna survive. We're gonna thrive. What are you doing? Get off experiment eight. What's happening up there? Frankie's a fucking lunatic who can't keep it together for more than a day. Oh my god, and you're not much better. This is a nightmare. This is a fucking nightmare. What have I done? <laughs> I think I hate everything about this. I think I hate I think I hate it. I think I hate every single thing about it. Just wanted to have a silly time. A silly time where there were no rules. There were no gods other than us. It's too hard. It's too hard. It's too much. I'm not going to get anything done. No, there's no time for mad science because everybody's fucking insane. This, there's like mad science and then there's like mad and we've gone too far. How the game's crashed. 
Why have you done this to me? This is an enormous effort fail. There's no redeeming this. We're, we're, we're canning it. I love the mad science idea. This is the wrong scenario. It's going in the bin. We will return maybe tomorrow. Jesus, I'm going to have to work fast. Maybe tomorrow with a new Rim Rim idea concept mod pack. <laughs> oh, fuck. What have I done? We're all just going to pretend this didn't happen today, okay? You didn't see anything. Nothing happened. Thank you. To the patrons. I'm not going to shout anyone out because it's a fucking dump of a, it's a shit episode. Nobody wants their name attached to this. <sighs> what have I done? What have I done? It was, uh, it was a horrible idea.